Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Blue skies, a few clouds. I'm going to have half of y'all talked into moving to Kentucky. They're going to say, Dylan, we've noticed the um, population in your area has increased lately. Must be the YouTube videos. All right, let's get down to business. 2024, 2024 on the year. This is the second 2024 to hit my lot. This is the XL model. This is the first 2024 XL that I have personally laid my eyes on. And let me begin to tell you, wow, all caps, wow, very impressed. So, you know, last year about this same time, Renegade announced that they were not going to produce the Icon model, which the Icon, I think it's, I think it started in maybe 07, 08, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. Back then, the Icon, the most prestige model that Renegade built. We're talking hydraulic slides, the heated floors, the nice cabinetry, the cameras, the this, the that, the this. It was the iconic one that Renegade built, and ironically, they named it the Icon. So they announced last year, hey, we're not going to build the Icon. Uh, we can build more XLs, more classics, and uh, in the, you know, we they can supposedly they can build like two to one the two of these versus one icon but anyways they did say that they were going to incorporate a lot of the icon features into the excel model and so when i heard that i was like yeah i'd tell people that too i mean that okay whatever they did and i'm gonna start out i'm gonna go around the coach and i'm gonna point out things as i go that remind me of the icon okay so it's higher grade components better looking components, uh, et cetera, okay? So this is a 2024 XL. This is the bunkhouse, so it sleeps six people total. 600 horsepower engine, full body paint. And check out the paint on this thing. A little sparkle, kind of a maroon, a little sparkle in the silver. I love the white, and I love that the top of the coach is white, as you can see there. Okay, so Cascadia chassis, uh, it does have the adaptive cruise. It has the Detroit safety assurance package, LED headlights, as you can see, 600 horsepower. And this has the DT12, which is similar to like the Eaton 12-speed ultra shift, but it's Detroit's version called a DT12 transmission. We are going to tint the windows, okay? My tent guy wasn't able to swing by before we were ready for photos with this one, but we are gonna tint the driver and passenger window we're going around and then I'll open the boxes up. Um, it's got all the underglow lighting. Again, the paint on this thing. Just wow, 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 wow. Okay, Michelin tires. Love seeing the Michelins. 12.5 Onan diesel generator. Have, we've got the Gen Y 40,000 pound hitch. It's already plumbed with glad hand fittings. If you got a, a trailer with air ride or air brakes, we've got you covered. Uh, backup camera for the hitch. Backup camera. Okay, so there's the first thing I'm going to note that's different on this XL versus a 23 is the back fiberglass cap. Um, they kind of took one similar to an icon, but also similar to the old XL and kind of blended them together. Check out the camera. Okay, see the camera is different than this backup camera. The one up here matches the one on the side and the one on the nose of the coach. So that's the first thing that I'm going to point out that's similar to an icon. This has the um, the cameras all the way around so you've got driver's side passenger side front and rear like a it's basically like a little security system that's on board uh it records and then if you're pulling into somewhere look at there see that white camera that's not on your 23 model xls second thing i'm going to point out look at the steps this has the uh it's still the quickie brand but this is the more industrial commercial higher end steps so you can look at a set of steps off of an older XL and then compare them to this one. So this one, when the steps slide in, well, let me just show you. Let me open the door and, and show you how it looks. We'll turn off the switch up here so it will retract. Okay, so when those go in, the little end flips up and matches the stainless on the bottom. A lot cleaner look than the regular steps, okay? In my opinion, anyways, and I think they're still using the regular ones on the Classic. There was nothing wrong with them. I just think from the aesthetics side or the view of it, these look a little neater and a little heavier duty. So um, 
that's a basic look of the outside. Now I'm gonna open all the compartment doors up. Let's take a quick little cruise through those. And then I can't wait to show you the interior. Wow, 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 wow. Reminded me, if you would have blindfolded me and I would have walked in this coach and you would have said, Dylan, what are you in? I would have looked around and at first glance, I would have told you I'm in a renegade icon. So we're just gonna call this the XL icon. No, it's just an XL. I don't want anyone calling renegade. Hey, how do you get one of them XL icons? Don't do that. I was just kidding, okay? Okay, fourth or fifth thing that I've noticed, Bose soundbar. Okay, I know it's just a soundbar, but go to Best Buy and buy you a Samsung and then walk up there and buy you a Bose. Your wallet will hurt a whole lot more with a Bose, okay? So that's the fourth or fifth thing I've noticed. So that's the outside. Let me, I'm gonna pop the hood. We're gonna open the boxes and uh, we'll take a quick spin through those. Hang tight. Hey, thanks for watching. Chasecoach.com, over 200 pictures. Price, this coach is available. Oh, and I, the most important thing, the mileage, it's got like 1,400 miles on it it does not get any newer than this. So it is available if it's on the website at chasecoach.com. It is available, financing available, trades accepted. We deliver nationwide. We are in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky, and we are delivering a coach this coming weekend to Oregon. So we go all over. We got to pick one up in Texas tomorrow. We are literally coast to coast. So if we can help you, give me a shout. Hang tight, gonna get these boxes open. Boom, look at that setup. We're actually going to start midway on this one and go around the other way. Or start midway and come back around to midway. Here we go. 600D Aqua. There's another icon upgrade. Normally, your Classics and XLs were equipped with the 450D. So the difference is the 600D is just a bigger unit. So if you were running two showers at once, you're probably going to have a hotter shower on both showers with a 600 versus the 450 because it puts out more BTUs. The BTU rating is higher. Okay, this is, well, this is a common thing. This is not really changed. Truma, a German-made fridge on a little sliding tray. So that guy slides, close it, and it slides up in. Something I mentioned on the last 2024 Classic I had is I like that the storage bay here is like, like open. So if you needed to stick something in there that was, to, you know, eight or 10 foot long, you could. Normally there's a wall there. You kind of have like this storage bay and then you kind of like have that storage bay. But this one, you have a full open area. Again, Samsung outdoor uh, entertainment with a TV and the Bose sound bar. Cab air ride seats for driver and passenger. They do swivel the colors in this thing. Oh, I kind of gave you a glimpse of the interior then. I can't wait to show you the interior. Under the hood, clean as a pin, 600 horse, DD16, Detroit. I think the transmission torque's around 1,850 pounds, I believe. So, okay. Uh, back here, oh, there's the cab. Again, it has the 12-speed Detroit, which is similar to like an Eaton Ultra Shift. Smart controls on the steering wheel. Oh, look. They haven't even peeled the plastic off of that yet. Still got the cover on the, the Garmin. That's that camera system. CB radio as well. All right. I like that they powder coated the steps. You got 120 gallons of fuel with your dev. So single fuel tank, easy to fill. First compartment is going to be your engine batteries. Um, the little black fitting there is an air chuck fitting. So if your engine on the truck is running, you can build up to like 120 or 30 pounds of air. It's basically like having an air compressor on board. Actually, that is what it is. All right. the uh, We have the Dragonfly Game Changer 3.0 lithium battery. So let me explain a few benefits of lithium. Uh, they normally have a higher amp hour rating. So these batteries right here are rated for 270 amp hours a piece. That equals 1,080. If you take 270 times four, 1,080 amp hours. They're also way lighter. So what I meant to say with amp hours, you get higher output per battery can, compared to like the 8D. The next thing is they're lighter. So these batteries weigh on average about 81 pounds a piece. 
the 8D, which is like a just an AGM sealed battery, weighs around 160 pounds on average. Some are a little lighter, some are a little heavier. But imagine changing them out and lifting a 160-pound battery out of there versus an 80-pound battery, okay? So that's one of the main differences. You've got the dual inverters on this coach, the Victron Energy dual inverters. They're both 3,000 watt apiece. One of those inverters is wired to like your TVs and your microwave and, you know, stuff like that. The other inverter runs the middle roof air. So you can run the middle roof air on this coach going down the road with no generator on. Uh, your solar charging is also the uh, controller is up in there. Of course, the panels are on the roof. Next two bays is your black and gray tanks, 75 gallons a piece on those guys. Then the wet bay. Not a lot changed with this. It's simple. Why fix it, okay? So you have your green valve there, down is tank fill, up is city water pressure, cable TV outlet, black tank flush, gray and black tank dumps. You can see the tank levels down here. Fresh water filter, low point drain. It does have the... Um, the hose reel, you can see the, the reel down there underneath. It is electric. Again, polished wheels. Those aren't coated either. I love it. You can actually polish those. So polished wheels. I'm pretty sure Chad, our polish expert, the doctor of polish, I'm pretty sure he done those wheels for us. And you know, someone wanted to argue with me on the YouTube the other day. They said, hey, if your polishing is so much better than the factory, show a before and after. So I've got to remember to take a picture of like a new coach of a wheel before and after because I've got to prove the point. Our polishing is just second to none. 12.5 generator, own in with, oh, it's got high hours, 1.1 hours. I think they run them that much at the factory. Back here in the left rear compartment, you have your automatic transfer switch, 50 amp electric retract shore power reel. And I love the fact they put the 50 amp outlet. That way, your boondocking and your buddy's generator goes down. Well, he can just stretch his shore power cord out and plug into you. Or if you're pulling a trailer that requires power, you've already got it. Very, very nice addition. Coming around here, right rear compartment, we've got the central vac accessories, the central vac unit. We have a big compartment with what they call the three-quarter pass-through. So if you've got lawn chairs or folding tables, they can go up under that. Basically, they made the compartment run underneath the frame rails and kind of boxed it in. The uh, In the back, there's the air hose. I told you uh, there's the fitting over there, so you can uh, plug into that and get air pressure. You've got the spare tile. I think the rest of the hitch components are in the little cardboard box. The slide locks are there. Uh, the glad hand fittings, we can pop those brass caps off the back and put those on. And then again, the spare tile is up there. So that pretty much does it on the outside. Of course, thermal pane windows, body paint that just, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love the paint on this. And I love, again, I love how the top of it's white. All right. Um, keyless entry. Oh, this, before I forget, this little black module, I get a lot of, of requests of what is that. That is like a safety deal. So if you're fixing to merge lanes and there's a little car or a guy on a motorcycle or something there, it will let you know and, and hopefully prevent you from running over someone. So um, that's something that kind of has to be built at the factory or added onto the truck. It's a great addition for sure. Can't go wrong with more safety stuff. Keyless entry, as I mentioned, and I think that does it on the outside. So hang around just a few more minutes and uh, we're going to take a little trip through the interior. And again, you're going to be impressed. ChaseCoach.com, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales. All right, make our way up the stair again, tiled stair with lighting. Shut this door behind me. It's actually cooled off a little here. Finally, it's been a long summer. All right, in the cab, air ride driver and passenger seat, I kind of showed you this stuff earlier. It also has the electric brake controller. That's that little knob kind of down there, you can see. CB. Oh, it has in motion and the HD Traveler satellite. So both. Again, that's a $3,000 option. It's got a privacy shade. So people always ask, well, what do you do to keep, you know, keep the privacy? Well, you just stretch this little guy. It goes on an aluminum rail around. Here we go. You ready? Holy cow. I love the lighting. See the lighting going up and down the sides of the slide. It just everything in this thing looks high 
end, okay? Very neat. A little different color than I've ever seen, but I like it. So starting out on the driver's side, we have a sofa. Turns into a queen bed, so two people can sleep there. The dinette does not convert into a bed because they actually use a quartz that's heavy, okay? That guy trying to float it up and down to turn it into a bed would not be a good idea. So we have a booth dinette with a hard mounted table. As you can see, all of the original owner's manuals, keys, remotes, electric powered shades. It does have the multiplex system. One of the controllers is over there. So you literally run the whole coach from a digital screen or you can download the app and run it from your phone. Samsung TV with a Bose sound bar. Look at this sink. So this is cool. They've got a little cutting board that mounts in there, which is just, I mean, take it off that easy. Or you can stretch this little guy out. I know, I'm getting excited. You can probably buy this on Amazon for $1.99 with free two-day air, but I think it's cool. You know, like to wash your dishes and lay them there, and then you've got this little guy that sits in there. So the little stuff makes the difference, right? Um, two burner induction cooktop, flush mounted down in there or with a wood cutting board, Samsung convection microwave oven, cabinets galore. Magnetic, I like that. Okay, keeps them from rattling going down the road. Soft closed drawers throughout. This one has the double stack so you can push that little guy, put some silverware in the bottom and then you got more in the top. Ooh, look at the refrigerator. Who gets excited about a refrigerator, right? Well, yes, I have to admit, one of those weird people that gets excited about a fridge. Holy smokes. This is the new style Samsung. It has the metal cooling, so it's literally a sheet of metal in the back. Then you have a drawer here for, I don't know, vegetables. I think that's part of the freezer, and then the bottom's for sure freezer. Ice maker with an ice bin and an ice scoop. Yeah. So new style fridge, big fridge from Samsung. It's like a... And again, my phone always makes the colors of these things look weird, so go to chasecoach.com and look at all the pictures. You might get a, a better idea of the color, but yep, the fridge has a TV built in or a, a computer. I'm not sure. Maybe a tablet, we'll call that. Washer and dryer. Washing machine on the bottom as always. Keep the weight low. Dryer on the top. We can always remove those. If you said, hey, I'll never use it, but I'd love to have the storage, no problemo. We can change that. Spin around here, we have a big multiplex screen. So this is next to the first bath, but this guy does home. You can kind of see what's there. It does lighting. It does electric. It does thermostats, slides, in motion satellite. Um, it literally everything, okay? First bath. Let's look at that. Okay, we can start out with the Sani Marin. So that is an electric flush toilet. Uh, matching backsplash, overhead cabinetry, neat lighting. So that reminds me of Icon. Just the, the fit and finish is what made an Icon an Icon. And the hydraulic slides. Now, this one does not have... All of the slides are in hydraulic. Some of one, I think the main one up here is on the new XL. I will verify that, but I believe it is. Tiled shower with the sliding glass door. Slides over nice and clean. I like the drain. That's the same drain I think they used in an Icon. Very nice, very nice, okay. It has bunk beds, okay, and there is a sliding pocket door. So so no, mom and dad, the kiddos are not sleeping right next to your bed, okay? So you can close that, and you have two 76-inch bunks, I believe. I mean, I'm 6'3", and I fit in them great. I've slept in those many of times. So sliding pocket door for privacy, TV in each bunk. It connects to the Live Air TV, and it also connects to the... It's actually got an onboard DVD player. Roll those back. Love the big picture mirror. Why they put that there? So if you ever had to take this mirror off, or if you ever had to fix the plumbing inside that shower, you would take this mirror off, and there you are. You're at the plumbing. Look at the master bedroom. So king-size bed. I just love the lighting. The attention to detail in the new XLs is mind-blowing. Lots of storage here. Oh, 
this is something else, not in, not comparing this to the Icon, but actually comparing this to the last 24 I had a couple weeks ago. I like that. You can undo the whole TV, cedar line closet, tons of storage. I like that. Over here, all the factory rugs included. Again, this thing has barely been used. 1,400 original miles. I don't think they ever put the rugs down. DVD player back here, place to put your direct TV if you're doing that. And then we make our way to the master bath. Okay, it's similar to the other bath, it's just bigger. I love the uh, base, the, the tile there, like that. Ooh, rain head, that thing will spray you from 15 different directions. Teak seat, so this does fold down. Okay, folds down like that. Makes it nice to sit down and Scrub those legs or those toes. Again, very simple, like the underglow lighting, as you can see under the countertop. Big mirror. Another uh, macerator electric toilet that pumps the, the sewage out instead of just like a gravity drain. Again, it does have central vac. I showed you the unit earlier outside. There's the actual connection inside. Comes with a hose that'll reach all the way to the front of the coach. Um, take note of the ceiling. So this has the covered, like they call them the ceiling medallions, I believe. Then even the piece in the middle. I'm serious. Earlier when I said, if you would have blindfolded me and I'm at someone else's dealership and they walked me in here and opened my eyes, I would have said we're in an icon. It just gave me that feeling. So kudos to Renegade. Moral of the story. I know I've, you're like, hey, I'm tired of this guy bragging on this XL. We get it. Okay. Moral of the story, kudos to Renegade. Uh, they done what they said they was going to do and um, definitely lived up to the hype, okay? So, appreciate you guys. If you need anything at all, give me a call. If you want to make a deal, I'm here for it, okay? Trades accepted, nationwide delivery, financing available. Got some great folks in our financing team that are a phone call away, so... Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. That's all, folks. Hey, oh, hey. No, actually, that wasn't all. Please hit the subscribe button. You know my rule. Share with two friends, and that really helps us out. I think we're knocking on 7,000 subscribers, so I'm shooting for 10 by the end of the year, and I need your help. Appreciate each and every one of you, and if you need anything, give me a shout. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.